You talk bigger bollocks than a noon rights unicorn. <laughs> hey, what's up, dudes? Kublik on here. Welcome back to Witcher 3 Permadeath Roleplay, the place where we give Geralt a build, a way to play, a style, a personality, and we let him out into the world, and if he succeeds, well, hells yeah. Success is really just lasting. And if he dies, well, that sucks. We start a new Geralt, and we start a new way to play him as well. But here's a mission, and we're still kind of in the tutorial area. Uh, we haven't quite hit the point where I will be starting uh, a permadeath roleplay character if we were to die. If we die now, well, we die now and it's permadeath, and then, uh, well, we might, I don't, uh, we'd have to restart, so fuck. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think you happened, sass. dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Don't insult me. So, we're playing a nice Geralt right now. We're playing a Geralt that uses sword, and a Geralt who uses mind tricks, as well as a little little support magic, because I need other points Sorry. to actually get up to the next tiers. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service the garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. The humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. Good luck rebuilding, farewell. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but I found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. People often mention that with witchers. I guess that's the most obvious, different thing about them. So now we get to do some CSI Narnia shit. So I'm stealing that from Yahtzee. Yahtzee's the first person I heard said that, and uh, I thought it was hilarious. So it's gonna happen a lot. But anyway, just gonna take a moment. Um, I haven't really chatted about this. This is a weapon enhancement thing, 15 minutes of enhancement. How beautiful are the faces? The sound of the wind in the trees? Like, I haven't played any game that created such an amazing ambiance. Like... The trees don't look very good necessarily, but the wind in them is beautiful. Now, let's go to, let's do our thing. Let's see. Shavings from a tinderbox. Arsonist must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, then fled through the orchard. Follow the footprints. Footprints. A man's. Large. There we go. So a lot of missions are kind of like this. Looking for tracks smelling things it's a, a very interesting kind of way to play and that's where the whole csi narnia shit comes out of here we go it's a spider sense in a way but you don't use it mid-fight you only use it for these moments stinks of piss and vodka it's a he has a much better nose as well than uh, any of us let's see I'm looking, I'm following that yellow circle mostly. Sometimes when you get to the center, it just kind of moves. Other times you get the, the red shoe clues. But it definitely requires you to search around a little bit to locate them. What's up, dude? Don't mind the weirdness of my vision. Alright, I'm going to go for a little bit of a trot. Oh, look, we can see. It's actually, like, footprints in the ground. Oh, a chest! Fishing rod, net, and some money. Um, do we have any footprints on this side? Hmm. It's telling me to go back and look over there again. So you pick a lot of plants in this game um, because one of the big things that is a part of it is alchemy. And we will use alchemy. We will definitely involve ourselves with it, but it won't be like the build we're making. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Nice. So like, um, in the case of... Uh, Let's say, mm, 
If I was in a fight, I could drink a potion that will help me, but I will not necessarily put perks into the potion, like, uh, area. Because that's not necessarily a build that we're going for. Um, but sometimes it's really helpful to do that. Honestly, like, if in a personal playthrough, I would totally put points into the alchemy kind of stuff. Um, so we might ha be more of like a, um, uh, like a sliding scale where most points go into the magic or the swordsmanship and then the next one swordsmanship and then the you know kind of situation sheesh it was like another 30 seconds before i just walked over here something jumped out of the rushes drowners but he managed to escape drowners lost his boots in the rush drowners are some scary like gremlin looking things that always live in the water tracks lead back to the village Kid playing with his bow. Me grand told me about the Smith boy. Lad went missing one day, so folk nabbed a witchman that was hunting nearby. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Bleeding, mm -hmm. but not badly. Mm -hmm. Surface wound. So it was. Except it was some drowner that had sat on the Looking for trouble. Up this way. Here we go. Trail ends here. Just burst into a house. Recognizing by his wounds. Immediately bursting into some stranger's house. Just let me in. It's fine. Are you spitting on the floor? You are absolutely just spitting on the floor. Hey, what's up, you? Claw marks. It's gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on. Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches He's dressed all. like Peter Pan. Dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies. Do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? You're actually incorrect. Listen, we can <laughs> work this out question. man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back, and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Uh, I like this. We can say fine, but no more arson, which I think is pretty interesting, but I'm going to go no chance. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp. Oh, check this. <laughs> Calm down. Now follow me. <laughs> I see. I like punching people in video games. But for some reason, one of my favorite things is in the middle of these conversations, just be like, "Wiggity, wiggity, wiggity," and now they just listen to what I have to say. They're like, oh, "Okay, you coming, dude? You coming out of that house?" In Falter's hey. day, no griffin would fly around for long. King had called for the huntsman straight away. Toss some coin at him, and problem solved. You talk bigger bollocks than a noon wraith's unicorn. <laughs> a noon wraith is a uh, a ghost that shows up at noon in the middle of the day. Unicorn, uh, unicorn, unicorn, not a unicant. A unicorn is basically what you think it is. It's a unicorn. So you can also pick up uh, jobs off of these as well. So for some of our plays, you know, some characters may ignore certain jobs. Um, this, whenever you see the little thing like that, that's a mission. Uh, contracts, that's a mission. Uh, Imperial Edicts, Nifgardian, whatever, I'm looking at all of them. So, if you go into your quests, you are able to see that we have missing in action. We have contracts, contract devil by the well. Now, what's really crazy is most of these missions have some crazy, crazy levels of backstory. So when we do roleplay stuff, we should absolutely pick missions we do and do not take. Because they're so expensive. Wiggity, wiggity, wiggity. Up and at him. Hmm? What? what? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. <laughs> Nap! You! I knew your mom for years. Charged the nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you, I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. 
The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. A little over the top, I'd argue. Villagers <laughs> will love you now. Villagers will really love you now. <laughs> well, no, I don't give a flying fuck about them. You know, I hated the black ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. So, in this game... Ah, very epic uh, answer for whatever you do. In this game... A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Whenever you... Your weapons actually fall apart as you, you use got. them. So you need to keep them in tip-top shape. Um, so if we were to go to... Uh, looking at what weapons that I have... We would see that this sword is at 95. And this one... Is this the only sword I have? Oh, this is the only sword I need. I haven't pulled out my steel sword. Witchers carry two swords. One made of steel to hit humans with. And one made of silver for monsters. Um... Let's see. At the moment, I think I like my sword as it is now. We're going to be collecting a lot of stuff real quick so we start leveling up and things. Uh, saddlebags allow you to carry more weight is a fantastic thing to have. 186, 270. Uh, I don't need the extra stamina really. So we're going to get the saddlebag because that is really beneficial. Very quickly helps. Um, you can see here that you can also craft things. That's a huge port port part of this the game and the system. So we'll have certain characters who maybe craft more or less, you know, depending on how the builds are that you want to create. Uh, let's go stab some stuff now. So long. Now we just did a story mission. Let's go call our horsey. Horsey. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Not just stab stuff. Yeah, we'll do missing in action. So these are all things that I would do to prepare the character for once you basically open up Nilfgaard. Where the hell is my horse? Nilfgaard is the next world, or Velen, I forget which world you go to next. But you go to one of them next, and it opens up all the levels, which is where we would always start our actual permadeath playthroughs. Oh god, I'm stuck in a tree. I don't have to be on the road. We're just on the road because our stamina actually stays when you stay on the road. It, uh, it doesn't go down on the horse, if you've noticed that. So there's an advantage to maintaining that. Also, it's a little bit harder to get back on the road when you fall off of it. Um, in this game than it is in, like, Fallout 4. Here, let's let's get a little action-y. Hmm, actually, I just mentioned the problem with getting off the road. Alright, we'll, we'll have some stuff to stab soon enough. Here we go. We got a dude who's, uh, his brother's missing. So we're gonna help him find his bro. What's up, yo? Do that often? Talk to your dog? It's my brother's, Bastion's. But, I guess he's mine now. Dog See, is scarred. Bastion fought the Black Ones in a battle just outside the village. I haven't had word of him since. I told him, do like I did, lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. Too damn afeard he was. Bloody hell. I'd walk the battlefield if I were you. I did. Sea of corpses. And corpses. Feeding. Someone told me they're afeard of fire, so I took a torch, tried to chase them off. Horse shite, I tell you. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hussar here. Listen, guessing you carry those swords for more than show. Come with me. Keep the doors off. Help me find Bastion and I'll pay you well. There we go. Fine, I'll help you. Just been a few days since the battle. Chances we find your brother alive are slim. Very slim. I would have thought, but I want to find his body at least. So Bastion don't rot there in the sun with the black ones. Meet me on the hill overlooking the battlefield. We'll move on together from there. There we go. Now let's see if... Um, so the game will let us know if the mission's too difficult with the, you know, the skull crossbone look. Here, you know what? We got a spot right over here that we can do some shit. Oh, I just tripped over a child. Are they screaming because of me? Sorry. 
So let's see. We don't want to drop. Dropping it hurts a ton in this game. I don't know why they made fall damage so dangerous. All right, we did just fine there. So now let's show these son of a bitches who's up. Now, this is a guarded treasure spot, and we're going to do some mind control. Now, I still will use some of the other spells when I'm playing. Damn, you're up. Oh. Because uh, things like drowners definitely suffer more when they get burnt. And it can kind of... Ow, God. It can kind of slow them down a bit. And it hurts them a lot of extra. Come on, big guy. Come on. Boop. Boop. Roll away. Ow, jeez. Whack. Oh, another one. Fire, bitch. I love how they wear clothing. Like, how weird is it to see a monster in a little loincloth? I mean, it's not like a monster would really have any expectation of, um, like, decency, I would think. Oh, yeah, we picked up a diagram, meaning we can create um, some new shit, basically. So that's what happens when you find some of these hidden treasures. Um, here, let's go into the inventory to look at that new sword. It is four damage more than the current steel weapon I'm using. We'll switch to it. Uh, the boots, three dam or three defense more. Cool. Uh, it doesn't have any we're not losing anything else either. It seems like we're just wearing normal boots here. Uh, slashing damage and elemental damage, okay. That. Uh, add new saddlebags for a horse. And then you have this, which is a rune that gives you certain extra abilities. Now, this sword will also have a chance to cause bleeding. Tawny Owl. This is a, uh, a stamina regeneration. Um, I'm not going to put it... Actually, we can just... We stick those straight into our potion slots, which kind of work like um, spells in a little bit, like healing spells. You don't actually have a healing spell. You just kind of eat bread and shit like that. Um, one thing also to keep in mind when I was talking about the poisons or using potions and the like was that um, we are going to still use poisons potions and things even if we're not focusing necessarily our, our stuff on them In the same way we'll still use some other spells even though we're not focusing on them because it's really beneficial and the game is hard and if you cut off some of the some of, basically some of the weaknesses that you can afford in fighting you will suffer in this game because it's very much built around kind of using what affects your enemy however you can quite well still stick to a build in your own personal style of play you're here good bastion his body must be here somewhere among countless others want to examine them one by one could take a while you needn't fret the recruits from white orchard painted a small flower on their shields so as to be able to spot each other in battle there was just a few of them we look for the flowers we'll find bastion quick no offense but Many a soldiers dropped his shield, especially if he was on the losing side. If we find the shield alone, Hassan will catch the scent and lead us to Bastion. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. I find that really interesting. I mean, I can totally respect finding um, your brother and, like, the fear that you have in that he probably died. Which also, this is the battlefield that we went through in the... Uh, so many corpses. And the war's just started. Nice. Uh, this is... Here, we're going to fight these Al Ghouls real quick. Now, let me take a note here. Remember I was talking about the dandelion guy? Boom. Here he is. And he's recording all this information about these characters because there's so many. And so you can kind of learn more and more about them. Uh, there's also a bestiary, which is basically whenever you fight certain people, it will tell you, hey, here's certain ways to beat them. You can put necrophage oil on, you can do things on your sword and the like, which is something we would still use, still use it, but it will definitely be not something we necessarily put too many points into. Uh, that stench. Burn! Alright, time to fight the Algools. Boop, boop. This guy, if this guy dies, game over. Right, or not game over, but mission over. So, when you do dodges, oh god, the little jumpy dodge doesn't actually cost stamina, which is what you use to cast spells. Um, the roll does. It does, in fact, take stamina to do that. 
So that's one of the ways that you can kind of alter how you fight. Got. I love all the uh, just how massive and like demolished this battlefield is. It's so cool. Our dog's just growling like none other. Hmm. There we go. We got a shield. That him? No. Vapor's son. All right. Come on, Hussar. Can you smell Bastion, boy? Still more corpses. Plenty of more stuff to pick up. Alright, so I'm going to run around, grab some of these corpses, and do this kind of thing. But I believe at this point, this will be our finishing touch. So, what are you thinking in relation to how the actual game is going? What are you thinking how what builds and ideas? Let me know down below. I kind of want to hear your thoughts with it. Uh, when we actually get to the point where I'm like, okay, this is where the permadeath roleplay play builds will start when we lose this current one that we're going i will quickly do like a jump level up so any points we put in now will actually get removed okay uh because i'll use developer commands to do that so we'll have our character at the exact same level with the exact amount of experience or close to kind of thing so that we can start the build in the direction that we want it to be so if it's like level 10 when we get to the first that first area probably be like level five or six uh then we can have everybody starting from that same point so, that's how we'll do it. We can also change up some of the weapons as well. We want some of the weapons, we can add items, we can uh, have certain missions done, we get certain abilities, and we'll kind of figure it out as we go. So, let me know what you're thinking, builds down below, that kind of thing. Um, check out the subreddit and give me some submissions if you're thinking of that there too. And of course, thank you so much for watching. It's a real joy to have you here. And if you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, and thank you so much for doing so. It really helps out the channel, and I really appreciate it. And of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet, may the wind always be at your back, and may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. See you later, dudes. Bye.